everybody, Miss Chris at Palm Harbor Library here to tell you about our July Take and Make American Girl Craft. Now remember guys, this is a special offering. It's for kids who love American Girl and you have to be between the ages of seven and 12. It's a little bit more intense. And the girl that we're doing in July is Leah Clark. Now, Leah was the girl of the year in 2016. And she is up for an adventure when her ma family makes a trip um, to Brazil because her brother Zach is studying and learning about the rainforest. So this bag is gonna have some rainforest themed activities for you. And there's a couple different crafts that you can make. The one that I think is really fun is this walking stick. Now this is a walking stick that you can make for your doll. Leah does a lot of hiking in the rainforest. And so, you know, your doll might wanna put on some hiking outfits and go for a little hike. What you're gonna do, it comes with just a plain dowel like this. And there are some instructions in the little guide that you're gonna get. You can paint it or not. There'll be one color of paint in your bag, so you can use the paint for this. Or if you like the plain natural look, just leave it plain. Then embellish it and decorate however you like. There is a little sheet that I gave you with some washi tape. And that's what I used on this. I just kind of peeled it and wrapped it around. Now, I found out some may stick better than others. This pink sparkly, which was really pretty, just does not want to stay stuck. So I'm thinking I'm going to try a little wet glue and maybe a little clothespin or something to hold it there till it dries. So, you know, if your first attempt comes out a little wonkily, you know, just improvise and try something different. I also had some other pink colors, so I made some little flowers or little dot decorations. And if you want to give it a handle, there is going to be a piece of like string or jute. What you do, you make a loop, tie a knot. So you have, you know, kind of a little loop for your doll's hand to go through. Then what I did, I put it a lot of wet glue, like a tacky glue at the top. I laid it there and your fingers are gonna get sticky, let me tell you. And then you just kind of wrap it around and around and around in the glue. Kind of like you're string bombing the stick. And you make it as deep as you want. And again, you may need a little clothespin or something to hold that till the glue dries. Now, some people do not use a handle on their walking stick. You may just wanna leave it plain and have her rest it in her hand like that. And if you really like to hike, go online and just put in American Girl Leah inspired walking stick craft. You can find out how to make a life-size one of these for yourself out of a found stick. So that would be a fun thing too. The other thing in there is an activity sheet in your bag. It's got four really fun things that you can do by yourself or there is a like a team scavenger hunt that your family or friends could do. That's a fun activity. And we're gonna do some art inspired by the rainforest. Now, rainforest frogs come in every color imaginable. You can look up online and see color after color after color. There is no wrong way to make one of these. Yours is gonna be plain, just the outline on the brown. And then what I used to color mine were these um, oil pastels and you're gonna get, we had them around the library, so I thought, oh, let me try them. You're gonna get a little bag. It's gonna have his eyeballs. It's gonna have some chalk pastels. Now, chalk pastels can be a little messier. They will get all over your fingers. They might get on your paper, but don't worry. If you get some smudges here, turn it into a tropical flower. Don't feel like your picture is ruined. And there are some, um, they're almost like a, like a colored pencil with no pencil around it. It's like all color, but this is just a start. Like I said, if you have paint at home, you might want to use some of the paint from the walking stick to decorate your frog. You could even use markers and just about any kind of implement that you want to try. Um, for the black around his eyes, I just used a Sharpie and that came out really good. The other thing you can make is a tropical flower collage. Now it's just plain black and white, and then you get busy. This is colored pencil and crayon. If you want it really bright 
like a lot of rainforest flowers are really tropical and bright and vibrant, you could use marker, a lot of marker, and you're gonna get a little bird. So when it's all finished, figure out where in your flower collage you wanna put your bird. And you're gonna get a few little, these are um, like a peel and stick gem. And what you do, you just cut a little string of them, okay? And I'm gonna peel it back a little bit. So now I have a string, a straight string. And then you just cut off however many you wanna use. I'm kind of doing them one at a time and putting them on the little dots that are around this flower, kind of just to give it a little more dimension. And again, let your imagination run wild with this. This is art that there is no wrong way to make. That is one thing I love about crafting. And the very last thing that you can do is your bag is gonna be plain. We just kind of had fun with it and played with it. We put a butterfly, maybe a snake from the rainforest, put some vines and plants on it, go crazy and have a good time. That's the whole point of crafting and Loving American Girl. And if you really like this series, come in and read about Leah. We've got two books and she has a movie that you can watch. So, till we see you next time, we love American Girl. Happy crafting, guys.